Hey guys, so I thought I'd just do a quick video on my latest DIY project, which is my diatom uh, removal tool, which is essentially a denture cleaning brush, which is reasonably stiff bristles, a couple of elastic bands onto a siphon hose, five into bucket. So if anyone's ever set up a saltwater tank, these are good and bad at the same time because they show that everything's doing what it should be doing in the diatoms. They're basically silicates and it's hard to avoid them. Um, but ugh, they're ugly. So we'll go ahead and try and get some of them out. And the way to tell that it's diatoms rather than something which can look similar is um, cyanobacteria or cyano is that's more of a slimy substance. Whereas this is more of a dusty substance, but it looks dusty in that it comes off quite easily. So I'll do a quick video now of me trying to get rid of some of it. Um, and getting rid of it just basically means water change. But you can brush it off, suck it up, water change, and they go over time. Um, yeah, so I'll show you a quick video now. And then I'll catch up with you some more discus related stuff next time. removal part of the water change done and um, as you can see it's all going a bit cloudy because of the dust kicked up with the, the brush on the diatoms but it's a bit better it looks a bit cleaner and um, so what I generally do now is let all that get captured by my mechanical filtration at the back and then take that out it's basically a sponge or for filter mesh media stuff um, no, sponge, that's a good enough description. Take that out, rinse it out in some tank water, put it back in, and then I shall fill it back up again. And that's how I do a diatom removal, or diatom control, because you can't really remove it all. 
it's just part of the natural cycle in a marine tank. So I hope that was useful to someone, and I'll catch you next time. Cheers, bye-bye.